Hi, I'm Jerome Turner. I um, work at Birmingham City University and I'm part of the evaluation and research team on Smart Places. My name's Paul Long. I'm also a member of the Birmingham Centre for Media and Cultural Research and I have the lead role in um, contribution of research and evaluation to Smart Places. BCU's involvement in the Smart Places project goes back to its original formulation. A former colleague of ours was set to participate in a workshop in Germany. It may have been in Dortmund, I think, you know, one of these European matchmaking events. And we were interested enough in the project as it was originally formulated to invite the partners and the project lead, Dortmund U, to come to Birmingham. So we hosted an international meeting there. And we became part of the project's provision of research and evaluation in its first iteration, and it was part of successful um, uh, acquisition of funds, and we've been on from that time onwards. It's going very well. We've uh, completed our interim report um, in the last uh, few months, uh, and getting now to the point of wrapping up the final aspects of the data to describe describe all the project activities coming to the end um, and we're quite excited now about the findings that are coming out of that not just in terms of evaluation but in terms of you know, what what this project more broadly means for the industry. So, I mean September saw one of the project's grand outcomes which was the, the UR Arts Day in September where all of the uh, project partners had local activities and connected through digital exchange and I think that, that at least here we are in, in, in uh, Bilbao, Asperger Centro and the reports, the recordings, the evidence suggests that that was quite a, a substantial day. But it's true that I think now that we're so well into the project, it's looking at what the the substance of what individual partners have done locally, but also the reporting that they've given us about what has happened to those institutions and individuals, the stuff that you won't really see manifest in the sites like Ascuna when you come along. It's really quite profound, and it's our job to try and make sense of that and have best of it. The project is a way of thinking about the specifics of this project a wider context of the expectations of European cultural policy, the long-term ideas behind the very concept of smart cities, smart places, the, you know, the, the, the expectation of the digital, the issues around what we can learn about how cultural organisations operate, how they accommodate the digital, and then above all how audiences are engaged and cultural citizenship is nurtured through cultural projects, particularly through the pursuit of, of the digital. Uh, so the book is not merely a report on the project, it uses the project to illuminate bigger issues which are clearly at the heart of this, this uh, collaboration. My uh, favourite um, moments in, in Smart Places is a repeated one, and that's the arrival at each of the partner venues. So you can imagine getting a train from Durham to uh, Liechtenstein, arriving in Dortmund by train, getting into Bilbao from the airport by taxi, and seeing sometimes new cities or seeing cities I've visited before and new, and the anticipation, I guess, of, of meeting uh, all of the, the, the great partners that we work with and as the project has gone on how each meeting is seen in advance, sometimes a step back, but always the address to a particular challenge issue in the project. And I, and I think when we're communicating via email or Skype or whatever it is, in between those meetings everything can feel a bit abstract and you're right when we are arriving somewhere and you get a sense of the country, where the city is situated and then you're getting a taxi through the city and getting a sense of how then somewhere like Aspen is, and is um, situated within that community and the geography of that 
more of a sort of less populated and all of that gives you more of a concrete sense of what we're talking about when we talk about audiences and local audiences and things. I should just add a code to my favourite at the moment, which is at the end of each week when we've completed four, sometimes five days of meetings that start at sometimes over breakfast and finish over dinner. Uh, it's always a relief as well to finish the week because it is quite demanding, but rewarding. Thank <laughs> you.